Man, you know about those like new clothes I've introduced? So I'm a big fan of your Parsha videos and I know a lot of people watch this so I'm thinking maybe you can advertise on your Parsha video I'll sponsor Yeah, I think we can do that. Welcome back to the weekly Parsha show. This week is Parsha's Akev. I just want to introduce you to the new type of clothes. They grow with you, just like they had it in the desert. It says in the Pasuk, Simbloscha, your clothes, they didn't wither away from on you. One second. Man, I don't get this. If the garments were on you, why does the Torah have to tell us that they didn't wither away from on you? Well, I don't think you finished watching the video. The rabbi asks the same question and he brings an answer from the Maggid of Mesrich. The word Tiblascha literally means garment. But when we do Torah mitzvahs, we are adding spiritual garments. And the reality is we all do wonderful things and we all add amazing spiritual garments. But a lot of times our garments wither away. So the Maggid reads the Pasuk like this. Tiblascha, your garments, loy basav, you don't want to wither away. Me'o lecha has to come from you. Because if you're doing your mitzvahs for personal interest, that you know what they're away. But the maggot tells us that if you're doing the mitzvahs because Hashem told me to do these mitzvahs, that's why I'm doing it, your garments will never wither away. Hopefully we'll all be able to do all the mitzvahs because Hashem told us to do the mitzvahs. And we should merit to be reunited in the third base of Mikdash, the coming of Mashiach right now. The winner for last week's Parsha Trivia is none other than Shmotomotkin from Canada. And the question for this week's Parsha Trivia is, if we don't want our spiritual garments to wither away, what is the tip? If you think you know the answer, fill it out in the link in the description of this video. Have a good Shabbos. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you next time.